Hey, how you doing there? Henry Olson here from Super Simple Guitar and today I want to welcome you to a Green Day lesson, one of my favorite Green Day tunes. Um, when I was 11 years old, I can't believe so much time has gone by, Green Day, the album Dookie was my favorite album and I've been, I'd listen to it all the time. So it was really cool to hear it on the radio the other day with my son and turn it up loud. Then that inspired me to do this lesson. So for all of you guys who want to learn some cool punk style guitar, let me try to get this out of my way here. This is a great tune that's going to help you learn to, you know, get those... Get that palm muting going fast. I'm not playing it exactly like the original because he has some complex stuff going in there, a little bit more complex than I'm going to be showing you. And I think he also does it quite randomly, you know, so um, I'm going to show you a couple of ways of going through it and then I'm going to encourage you to do your own thing with it and play along with the song, right? And try to just, you know, um, develop it your own way, organically, right? That's how I tend to play as well. Okay, so that's what we're going to be learning. I'm going to teach you the entire chord progression, um, everything that happens in the song, okay? All right, so for those of you who haven't yet, I have a picture chord book that you can download totally for free. And it has 42 pages. It'll teach you how to master the fretboard. Lots of great stuff in there. And also, if you want to become an all-access member at Super Simple Guitar, I actually ship these to my members totally for free as a welcome gift. So check that out if you want to. Without further ado, let's get into the close-up now. Let me teach you this really, really cool riff. All right, so welcome to the close-up. So for this lesson, we're going to be playing power chords using three strings, okay? So I'm starting off on the sixth fret, fifth string. And then with my ring finger, I'm holding the eighth fret, fourth string. And with my pinky, I'm holding the eighth fret, third string. All right, so that's one way. And then with my middle finger, I'm muting out the sixth string. Okay. Another way that you could do it and how I tend to do it, if you don't like holding it like this, is you could do it like this. Okay, so with this finger, you could bar down on the third and the fourth string, eighth fret. And then this one, just hold it normally. And with your middle finger, mute out that sixth string. Okay, so... Those are the two ways. I tend to actually do it with my pinky, but that was impossible for me as a beginner. So depending on where you are, you know, hold it however feels right for you, okay? But we're going for three strings and not, not two, okay? If you can't play all three, then that's fine. Then just play two strings, okay? The fifth and the fourth string, but it's not going to sound as fat as when you have three strings going at the same time, okay? So those are your possibilities for playing the power chord. And we're gonna be starting off, again, as I said, on the sixth fret, okay? And the kind of basic strumming pattern that we're gonna be using to keep things simple, just so you get the chord progression down before you try to do more kind of crazy complex thing, is just gonna be So that's strum. Mute, mute, strum. Okay, so strum, mute, mute, strum, mute, mute, mute. Okay, so. So strum, mute, mute, strum, mute, mute, strum, strum. Okay. Strum, mute, mute, strum, mute, mute, strum, strum. Okay. Again, you could play around with this. There are different variations, but that's a basic way that'll get you through really most of the song. Okay, so strum, mute, mute, strum, mute, mute, strum, strum. Same exact power chord, just now we're going up to the sixth string root note, okay, and the same strumming. Strum, mute, mute, strum, mute, mute, strum, strum. Okay, so that's. Down to the third fret, fifth string root note position. Up to the third fret, sixth string root note. Over to the fourth fret. Down, back to where we started, the first chord. And then on this last one. 
Now I kind of did a down up, mute, 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 down up, mute, 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 mute. Again, um, these are basic, you know, mute, palm muting strumming patterns that you can do, you know, but again, feel free to experiment with them and, you know, create your own ones. One quick thing, if you've never palm muted before, what I'm doing is my, this part of my hand here is touching the strings all the way back at the bridge, as far to the bridge as I can be without actually being on the bridge. And also, as far as your guitar configuration, you want to have the bridge pickup activated and everything on 10, all right? So that's going to help you get some more bite, okay? So that's our main chorus part of the tune. So let me just play the whole thing for you. So it's... I'm actually going... Strum, mute, mute, strum, mute, 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 mute. Okay, so strum, mute, mute, strum, mute, 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 mute. Again, there's a million ways that you could play it, okay? So. And then here on this last chord in the chorus, we're going to play it double time, okay? So one more time. Double time. Okay, and that whole thing happens two times. Okay, and then what happens is we go into part two, which is sixth string root note, um, fourth fret. And we're just gonna be muting these, okay? So this is kind of like a muted part, so. Okay, so. Bop, 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 bop. Over to the sixth fret, bop, 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 and then back down, sixth fret. With that basic strumming pattern that we've been doing the whole time, okay? I'm sorry, at the beginning I mixed it up a little bit. Um, you're just gonna at the end mute a little bit longer than I originally said, okay? so. So fourth fret to the sixth fret, down to the sixth fret root note, and that repeats itself. So Then that's going to bring us now into this um, new part. It all keeps adding up. Okay, so the third time around, you're going fourth fret to the sixth fret. And then we're going to go six, four, three, back up. Sorry, four, six, and then. Okay, so one more one more time that whole second part. So fourth fret to the sixth fret to the sixth fret down. Fourth fret to the sixth fret. Sixth fret down. Four to the six and now this third and last part, except for the ending, that goes Okay, so that's um, sixth fret, fifth string root note. And there's kind of this muted thing that happens. So it goes So you're gonna hit the sixth string root note, um, sixth fret root note, fifth, sorry, the sixth fret, fifth string root note, chord, which is an E flat, um, and we're going to go, so we're hitting that power chord, and then with my left hand, I'm muting the strings, and I'm just doing it down up, so going back up here, third fret, and then back here, okay, so, all right, 
So let me play the whole thing up until this point now for you, okay? Just so you can see it in context, okay? And I'm gonna play it slowly so you can hopefully uh, get a good feeling for it. So. So then we go back into our main chorus. So and you can see I'm doing this palm muting stuff very randomly too, okay? I'm not you can you have to play around with this, okay? It's it cannot be set in stone. Alright, so now you know where everything is, you kind of have a basic outline, and now I'd recommend practicing this and playing a, playing along with the song. Try to play with the song, okay? And if you can't follow right away, just just hit each chord once, right? Instead of trying to do the just just so you can follow the song, try to go right? Just so you get a feeling for every, for where everything is. Okay, so, right, so there's one last part of the song, and that goes like this. So it's... Alright, so that's 6th fret on the 5th string root note. To the 3rd fret up to the sixth, sorry, to the third string, um, to the third fret, fifth string. So, sorry, I'm a little bit confused today. So, sixth fret to the third fret, fourth fret, sixth string root note, back down, back up. So. skip going from here to here. So it just goes Alright, so there you have the pieces. Um, play around with it, listen to the song, um, and I hope that I didn't confuse you with this lesson. It's hard for me to explain these since I don't ever play it the same, you know, it's really hard for me to explain where everything goes and try to get the strumming when I'm also constantly changing it, you know. So again, I encourage you to do the same and um, let me know how it goes. I hope that you're able to follow along and I'll see you with another lesson really soon. All right, Henry Wilson here. Take it easy. Thanks so much for checking out this lesson. I really hope that it helped you. I hope it inspired you. And I hope you're having fun playing along. This is a really fun one to play, as I said, so definitely check it out. Also, um, that book, if you become All Access member, I will ship it to you for free. And if you don't want that, then also just download the, the free PDF. It'll teach you a lot of stuff, okay? All right, Henry Olsen here. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye. All right. <laughs>